Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface. Now finally, after about 10 hours collective queuing, I have finally managed to get into Deep Wind Gorge, which is the brand new battleground on the PTR for patch 5.3. Now on first glance, it looks like your typical capture the flag BG, very much like Battle for Gilneas or Arathi Basin. There are three points where you can capture and control flags, but... This battleground has a little hook to it, and it involves this cart, and I'll get to that later on in the video. So first bug, sorry, first up, <laughs> when the battleground starts, for some unknown reason, everybody loses approximately 65% of the health. I can only assume that's a bug. I'd be very, very surprised indeed if Blizzard thought, wouldn't it be cool if we start BGs with everybody losing 65% of their health? So I don't know if it's got something to do with stamina and a bug relating from that, but never mind. Now I'm going to try and take this flag here, which is the Goblin Mines, I think. So out the way, Mage. And out the way, Mr. Warrior, if you please. Thank you very much for allowing me a full Chaos Bolt cast on you. And then it becomes quite apparent this isn't going to be as simple as I thought. They seem to be coming in numbers here, the Horde. So while this fight goes on, let me just tell you a couple of changes which have been made to PvP for patch 5.3, because they are significant. Firstly, resilience has been completely removed from gear. Okay, So no longer do you get resilience as a stat on any of your PvP gear. Everybody gets a base resilience of 65%. That's up from the 40% that it currently was. Soulstone to the rescue. And it looks like the monk's going to take the flag. And he has. So now, even though we're heavily outnumbered and it's just a warlock and a monk, myself and him, we're going to try and see how long we can delay the horde forces here. Because if two of us can take five or six horde out of the fight... For a substantial period of time, happy days. So let's see what goes on. So yeah, so resilience has gone from gear completely. And everybody's got a base resilience of 65%. You can add to that resilience through gemming. So you can still get resilience-based gems. Not everybody's stuck at a constant 65%. Ooh, Chaos Bolt just caught his deflection. But thankfully, I've got a second one up. Now, I don't know if this was a little bit of a bug. But the Hunter Fane's death here... And for some reason, I can't target him. He just will not let me target him until he stands up, which I thought was a little bit odd. Now, there does appear, though, to be a bug with the resilience. One thing that we did seem to comment on quite a fair bit, because I've done this BG now a couple of times, was everybody was saying damage seems to be really high, even with everybody having... 67.5% odd resilience because that's what my resilience is with gems the vast majority of people in these battlegrounds are going to be head to toe in full tyrannical gear because we can just go to a vendor on the PTR server and purchase it for gold which is which is a very very easy thing to do so the vast majority of us head to toe and yes there's still a bug with fire and brimstone they have changed the spell but it's bugging out because if you run out of burning embers, it doesn't drop the fire of brimstone. It's very annoying. Anywho, let me get back to what I was saying. We were all kind of in about 67%, 68% resilience level of gear. And yet the damage was, was colossal. Seemed to be really, really high. So I think there's a scaling issue on the PTR at the minute as regards to resilience. And I think they've just managed to take the flag. But look, me and the monk, how long have we managed to delay one, two, three, about six hordies? Oh my goodness. Happy, happy days. But I mentioned there is a hook to this battleground as I think my time at this flag is pretty much up. <laughs> and it involves a minecart. Now, at the horde base and at the alliance base, you both have a minecart. It's flagged on the map by the Horde symbol and the Alliance symbol. And you can also visually see it perfectly well as it's a big red light that shines up from the Horde base. You can see it there in the distance. Now, you can actually go into the enemy base and try and steal their cart of gold. 
<laughs> which is what I'm going to try and do now. And yes, I'm on the world's greatest mount, the Zevra. Brilliant. Don't understand why some people don't like it. Best mount in the game. Probably say that about a lot of mounts, but never mind. So I'm going to try and sneak in now to the Horde base and steal their cart of gold. But I'm going to cross the graveyard and there seems to be a lot of people resurrecting at this time so <laughs> discretion is the better part of valor let's see if i can find a new route to get into their base and score wise it seems to be one flag all but we're about 500 odd points to the good here so i've managed to run away around the graveyard i'm just going to keep my eye on that mage to see what they're going to do but I also appear to have attracted the attention of a couple of the Alliance members as well, which is good. So go into the base, right-click onto the cart, and then it attaches itself to you. You can no longer mount up. You have to drag physically this cart. I think I'm going to send a couple of warning shots across this priest's bow. Priests, overpowered? <laughs> oh, and then some. So, <laughs> if you're a priest, you can't deny it. Let's face it, you can't deny it. So, I didn't do the very, very simple and sane thing, which was to look at what the buff is, which I now have on me, because that would have explained what I needed to do with the car. What I thought I needed to do, you see, this is what happens when you presume stuff and assume stuff. You make asses out of... Yeah, yeah, all that kind of jazz. I thought we just had to take the cart to a controlled flag so i'm making my way to the center flag which is controlled by ourselves just as i get within it <laughs> a rogue goes and takes it oh happy days so i'm gonna have a little bit of a play with this rogue i don't know what they do here i know i stunned them for a, a couple of seconds but they're just not fighting back i, I think they might have scrolled onto the desktop or, or what gone to the toilet and just wet themselves, judging by the distance they were away. No, 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 you're not going to disorientate me. Drop a few rain of flyers on the flag, and then let's take this flag back. But I soon discovered, even though we gained control again, that nothing happened to the cart. So I was like, okay, maybe now I should look at the buff that I've got and see exactly what it says. So there we go. What I actually needed to do was just take the cart from the horde base back to our base. So it's literally the whole length of the battleground without being able to mount up, dragging this cart. And also, my, my pet's vanished as well. So I don't know if the pet... I have to look back at the footage. I don't know if the pet vanished when I got the cart, or if the priest took it out, or something like that. Or it went off running to fight the priest, and of course, because I ran on, it probably just despawned. So I know the rogue's around the place, but I'm not worried. Never trinket a sap, though. Never, never, never trinket a sap. Um, not that it would matter, actually, because my trinket is on cooldown. Don't know what happened there. But uh, I seem to be dragged and turned the other direction. I don't think it was a priest doing a life grip. But I've got enough defensive cooldowns to, to safely get myself back to base. So, score-wise, we're on 840. They're on 450-odd. So, if I just drag that in and we catch it there, we get a, a good couple of hundred. So you get a couple of hundred points towards the 1600 that you need to complete the BG for bringing back a cart of gold, which isn't too shabby. I tried to repeat the same trick. So I ran all the way back to their base. Just before I got in, I got attacked by this chamois. It all looked good to start with. I seem to be battering him down pretty well. But then he gets the old spirit wolves out which just hit like a truck and he goes into uh, berserk mode so he's gonna start to really really bat me and what i didn't realize as well is this guy has his own personal healers hidden away at the top of the hill he actually has a priest healing him away which i couldn't see so unfortunately i'm gonna end up second best against two people nobody can kill somebody when they've got a priest with them i think that's physically impossible so not to worry so i, I use my soul stone but it's not going to take long before i get battered down again as here we go more people suddenly join in so we've got the priest we've got a warrior or rogue or whatever something that was hitting me very very hard now we're still 500 points on clear the horde had closed that to around two to three hundred at one point 
And I didn't like the fact that they were also holding two flags to our one. So I made a dash for this flag. It was just me and a warrior, mono e mono. And it was so nice after about six months of getting battered by nothing but warriors in Mr. Pandaria to be able to defeat one one on one. So I killed him. I'm taking the flag. I stay at the base until we maintain control over it. I set up uh, a couple of defensive elements. I get my demonic gateway up. I also hide a nice little demonic circle somewhere as well in case I get into a spot of bother. So now that that's secure, let's see what's going on. Well, loads of people seem to be making their way to that minecart. That looks as if it's going to be secured. No difficulty whatsoever. The center flag belongs to the horde, so I think I'll lend a hand. We've got somebody making a dash, and, ooh, they've been sapped. So I think I'll add a nice little equalizer here, drop some rain of fires over the flag, and between the pair of us, we should be able to take it. But there was no need because we already won the BG. So there we go, Deep Wind Gorge, new battleground for patch 5.3. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Very important for the Funtime Frank updates. And also my twitch.tv forward slash heel versus babyface. I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.